This is where Gnome, the summon spirit of Earth, used to be, right? Yeah, I remember how hard it was making a pact with him. Was Gnome really that strong? Actually, it was everything we had to do beforehand to get to him. That's right. We had to make curry. Curry? Yeah, which meant we had to hunt down some spicy ingredients. Are you the one who made it, Regal? Let's see. That time it was... Well, like I always say, you can't curry favor without curry, right? Get it? <laughs> Okay, food's ready. Wow, it's amazing. It almost looks too delicious to eat. And it smells incredible. I can't believe it. W what's with you? You're staring at the food like you're gonna cry. I... it's just... I thought women couldn't cook. <laughs> of course we can cook. You just happen to have poor luck in women so far. Would you two care to explain that conversation? Sorry. Sorry. What's with all the sign, Marta? We've been underground for a while, and it feels like it's hard to breathe or like something's pressing down on me. The air here is quite earthy and dusty. Yeah, and it's so dim I can barely see. That is most certainly bothersome as well. I thought you were the captain of the Hooray for Darkness Brigade. This does not come under the category of dark. I speak of something much richer, much deeper, a beautiful world of ebony. I think Tenebrae is what you'd call a darkness maniac. So this is what the x mine was like. Yes, though I doubt it would be possible to unearth any more from this area. It's incredible there's still this much left of it intact, despite the explosion. I guess it was really built to last. We built it to withstand whatever disasters might occur, though this does present a problem. I'll have to ask for Rain's help in finishing the demolition. But why Rain? During our journey of world regeneration, she destroyed one human ranch after another. She earned the nickname H.E. Bomb. H.E. Bomb? Shouldn't it be S.H.E. Bomb? Emile could give Colette a run for her money. Woohoo! Altamira, here we come! Everyone travels around town in vehicles, right? Yes, the city was designed to be experienced as a resort. Even transportation has been carefully planned to be as enjoyable as possible. And Klonoa is the town mascot. I wonder if he'll be there. I hope we get a chance to meet him. Woohoo! Tenebrae, was that your Klonoa impression? Forgive me. I was jealous of Klonoa getting all the attention. I will now explain to all of you the magnificence of darkness. You really take this seriously. Of course. Darkness is truly magnificent. When you're feeling down, the thing that allows you to sink even further, to truly plumb the depths of your depression, is darkness. When you wish to conceal the truth, darkness will hide whatever you don't want to be seen. Want to topple your foes without being noticed? Do so under the cover of darkness. How about it? Are you ready to come to the dark side? I don't know. Those things don't exactly get me all excited. Doesn't sound like much fun to me. Oh, but it is. If you're still unconvinced, perhaps you'd like to try a bite of my famous dark stew surprise. That is a type of stew you make by throwing random ingredients into a pot, correct? A dish of that sort would be as likely to fail as to succeed. Right, it probably wouldn't be awful, but I doubt it would taste great either. Ah, I can feel the darkness of your rejection blooming in my heart. Every little detail in Altamira has something to do with the Lazareno Company. There's even a Lazareno emblem on that manhole cover we stepped on. From the cradle to the grave, it's one of the Lazareno Group's most important slogans. So, I guess that means they're behind pretty much everything here. It sounds rather risky. Why? Since Lazareno provides this town with all its goods and services, if the company were ever to go bankrupt, the lives of those living here would fall apart along with it. To assure that such events do not occur, our company dedicates itself to the continued pursuit of business excellence. Very good, then. <laughs> What's with the attitude? Man, things sure went to hell in a hurry. Is there anything the idiot Vanguard won't try? I'm sorry. N no, I'm the one who should apologize. I wasn't trying to blame you. She's right. You shouldn't feel responsible. But... Let's go back to the hotel and figure out a plan. If we all put our heads together, we're bound to find a way to resolve this. Okay. 
think Marta's okay? Well, it is Alice we're dealing with. It's impossible to be certain, but I doubt even she'd dare to kill the Commander's daughter. Exactly. All we need to do is find the weak spot in their plan and exploit it. Marta's gonna be fine. Although, I'm gonna have to give that girl a talking to when this is over. She can't just run off like this. Yeah. Marta, please be okay. Regal, I'm sorry about earlier. Hmm? That thing I said about presents needing a ribbon? It was a stupid joke. I shouldn't have made fun of you like that. It's all right. I mean, I actually sort of think wearing a ribbon would suit you. You know, being an aristocrat and everything. Or maybe not a ribbon, but a rose? A rose? Like you could wear it in your hair or clinch it in your teeth? I've sent roses to ladies before, but I can't say I've ever worn one. Besides, if I were to do something like that, Sheena would never let me live it down. Actually, it might look kind of good. What? Sweet! Sneaking past these guards is easy as pie. Yes, that was rather easy. They do seem to lack a certain dedication to their work. Exactly. Hey, wait, Tenaby. Aren't you going to say something like, I quite agree, sweetie pie? Sweetie pie? I hardly think this is the time to be exchanging such pleasantries. You're missing the point. Making bad jokes and puns is your thing. Sweet. Easy as pie. Sweetie pie. Get it? Let's see. Sweet. Sweet. It's sweetie pie until the bitter end. Correct? <sighs> Never mind. Looks like Alice is still abusing Hawk. He probably doesn't have a choice, especially when you consider their legendary duel. What is this duel? When Alice joined the Vanguard, Hawk was the head of the combat unit. They apparently battled it out for his position, and he lost in a really bad way. I'm almost afraid to ask. I didn't see it, so I can't be sure, but I heard he still has scars from that battle on his back. Supposedly, they formed the words, Alice's pet. Talk about being scarred for life. were normal, I would have loved to check out the casino. What are you saying? Kids aren't allowed to gamble. Hey, I'm not a child anymore. What do you say, Emil? Don't you think it sounds like fun? Actually, I'd rather go play in the amusement park. Oh, stop being so childish. Hold your horses. You two are the same age. You kids are gonna have to stick to the amusement park. I believe you've always preferred the amusement park yourself, Sheena. Or am I mistaken? Seriously? <laughs> Sheena, you've got the body of a woman, but the heart of a little girl. S so what? So, Prisea, what other sorts of good luck charms have you come up with? Soulmate shackles, hair today, hair tomorrow tonic, fess up ferns, the marry me wand. Hey, Aunt Flora had one of those. Anything else? An outfit that, despite having a bare midriff, never allows your skin to get cold and also protects against enemy attacks. I call it the Lonnie Kyle. Oh, I've heard of that. That was a big hit, but then it faded fast, right? It was a tough sell. Was that everything? There was a mask that hid your face without actually hiding it, but still mysteriously prevented anyone from realizing your real identity. I called it the Judas Mask. Haven't heard of that one. It was stolen while still in development, and the project had to be called off. It was my proudest achievement. A real loss. You came up with all that stuff? You're incredible! So you're not from Altamira, right? No. I'm from Ozette. Where exactly is that? It's just on the other side of the Garakia Forest, but only a handful of people live there now. Why is that? The town was destroyed once. The land was never considered very desirable, and the village had a reputation for opposing the Church of Martell, so people have been reluctant to move back. That's terrible. However, my friends are helping out. I know the village will recover someday. Right now, it's in no state for visitors, but I'll give you a tour someday. Yeah, I'd like that. Mr. Fairy? Are you referring to me? I am not a fairy. I am a centurion. Okay. Mr. Tenaby? Mr. Tenaby? Well, that's new. Whoa! W w what are you doing? Why are you grabbing my leg? You have no paw pads. Paw pads? Shall I make some? Wow. Poke, 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 poke. Th that tickles. Stop. I, I beg you. I can't take any more. <laughs> 